here's a way how you can install and play Pro Evolution Soccer 2014 on your Linux PC. But before we begin, I must warn you that, that you need to change couple of files in this game for it to run. Uh, for this, your country's copyright law should give you the right to do so. So look into it before you change anything with this game. Otherwise, you might have problems with law. Okay, my country's copyright laws law gives me the rights, so I have the rights to change it. Okay, first for this tutorial, we need to uh, download Play on Linux. You can download Play on Linux from their official website, playonlinux.com. Select whatever version of Linux you are using and download it. I'm using Ubuntu, so I will download this file and install it through Software Center. Okay. After you install it, we need to start it. You can start it from the dash or from the terminal. I like to start it from the terminal. Now we need to install Wine. Okay, let's. By default, this won't be here. So I'm gonna delete it. Okay, okay, okay. You press tools, tools, manage wine version. Select, make sure you select the wine version x86 and select wine, wine 1.6, 1.6, and press this. Press next, and it will download wine. And install it for us. Okay, it's downloading it. Okay, it's installing it. Oh, great. Extracting wine. Great. Okay, now let's close it and press configuration. Configure new. Next, select 32 bit and select wine 1.6. Now choose the name, whatever you want. I'll call it pass. Okay, it's creating a wine prefix. Very good. Okay, now select pass and press install the components. Now find direct DX full setup or direct X full setup, DX full setup and press install. Okay. It's installing it. Okay, after it finished installing, now we need to install .NET 4.14 or 4.0. This is Net Framework. Press install. Yeah. And it will install Net Framework 4.0 for us. Okay, now for this
This, this is taking some time because I'm running with the recording otherwise it would be faster and in your case most probably it's finished years ago okay okay it's finished now select uh, display and press or select how much video memory your graphics card has mine has 1024 so I'll select this okay and select GLS enabled great now I recommend you running this game in a virtual desktop now what this means that you gonna run it in Windows mode I strongly recommend you run this game like this and uh, every single one game okay press graphics select to emulate virtual the left desktop I'm gonna select 720p so the window size will be 720p and press apply and ok ok great now we need to press task manager task manager and uh, ok insert our game in the ground and press file new task and press browse now you need to select your game disk you can find that other in here from here media Leon uh, or whatever the name you are is and there there will be game disk or there is, should be a game disk somewhere here 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 game disk F and press setup press setup exam and press OK press next okay you should read it but this is I read it I accept next and I'm gonna now is in enter my CD key so I'm gonna pause the video and come back after I entered my city CD key okay I entered my CD key I think you entered it as well so this will pop up press next and install okay now this will take some time so I'm gonna pause the video and come back after the installation is complete because this will take some time. Okay, I'm gonna pause it. As you, as you can see, it finished installing. Now press finish. Okay, now we need to update this this game. Uh, the update and the files will be provided in the description below. The download links. Press new task, browse, and navigate to the files you the folder you downloaded okay and we I have it on desktop here it is and select pass and select update okay select update and press ok this will update our pass game okay update this will take some time as well so I'm gonna pause the video and come back after the uh, update is complete you can see the update is complete press finish and press file exit task manager okay this will minimize this window now let's select miss and press open virtual drive directory okay this will open this directory press drive c uh, program files konami Revolution Soccer. Okay, now open the this download folder you downloaded files and enter the exe folder and copy these files to pass game paste and replace. Okay, now close this, close this, select this, press general and make a new shortcut. this will scan for exe files this is a game shortcut next and this is setting shortcut next okay let's close this okay now if we want to change settings you gonna run this press settings ok 
okay okay as you can see the setting go settings menu will open whatever great great I'm happy controller only whatever let's have it in full screen mode okay and if you want to start this, this game pass you're gonna press this start it from here from player Linux or from this exe file okay select run anyway thank you for watching and let's ignore this oh and make sure that you are running the latest proprietary drivers and not open source drivers as you can see the game runs and it has the sound and everything i tested it and it runs anyway thank you for watching hope it was helpful subscribe